Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today's little project is we're going to give the Ford Maverick a quick engine detail. Get rid of some of this dirt. I'm going to be waxing the outside soon, so want the engine to look like it's been taken care of. I usually wax twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. Uh, when you're spraying, make sure that when you're spraying the battery or the fuse box, you don't spray directly with a high stream. You want to keep it light. Same with the alternator. You don't want to hit it with a full power of a power washer. You want to back it off a little bit. And here we go. Step one. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I start with this is simple green. It's an all purpose cleaner. And I've mixed it 50 50 to water or 1 to 1. And this is before I even spray any water. I usually so what I usually do is I'll give it a So I'm just gonna give it like a pre-wash. Let this all soak in. Let this all soak in. Get a little, a little on the fuse box, a little bit on the battery. And I'm gonna miss this. And I'm doing this with the engine cold. So now I'm just gonna let this soak for about five minutes. Let it penetrate a little bit. And while this is soaking, I'm gonna just take a, a brush. You can do a paintbrush. And I'm just gonna get into some of these spots. Move that dirt around, get it so it's not sticking. Okay, a little agitated, I guess. That's what they would call it, agitated.
Okay, so now I'm just gonna let this soak for a little bit. And then stage two. Hit with the foam cannon. That was really wet. I'm just gonna go over some spots that I know are dirty. Then we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Let it soak in, and then we're gonna rinse it off. So I got the pressure washer. Now I'm not going to put it down in here and spray it off. I'm gonna hold it far back and then just rinse it off. Hey, right, now I got my leaf blower. 
and uh, try the engine. At this point, I usually go around. Get some of the spots that. So you can see at this point, it's looking pretty clean. Still not 100% dry. But then what I usually do is after I've tried to get rid of the initial wetness, I will then Start the engine up and let it run, let it get up to the engine running temperature. And that will usually dry up anything. And then after it's all dried up, if you want, you can get like engine dressing or something and spray it over, make it all nice and shiny. I prefer the flat look. But every once in a while, I'll hit it with some shiny engine dressing stuff. All right.
So I hope this video helps someone. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.